Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today is a super special day, you guys. I got my Jeffree Star X Shane Dawson collab in the mail today. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. I've been a fan of Jeffree and Shane for a really long time, but um, I don't wear makeup, so I've never actually had a Jeffree Star product, so I am super excited about this. I picked up the Shane Glosson lip gloss just because, as I said, I don't really wear makeup. So um, this is about what I look like almost every day. A little bit of eyebrows filled in, a little bit of mascara, and some chapstick. That's like about it for my makeup, unless it's like a special day or like I feel like it. I was gonna buy the palette, but like I really don't think I would use it that much. So that's why I went with the lip gloss because I figured Maybe this is something that I would use on a daily basis just to have like a little shine on my lips because realistically I would not use the palette very often, let alone every day. But I knew I needed to buy something from this collab because this series was just amazing and so well thought out and so well done and I am just so proud of Shane and Jeffrey both. So I really just wanted to show my support, especially for Shane, like he, he just has a special place in my heart. So without further ado, let's open up this package. This is so exciting, being my first Jeffree Star product. I honestly haven't really seen that many unboxings of them either. I know that usually like they're packaged really well because I know Jeffree like, you know, cares about his quality. So I'm super excited to see what actually comes inside this box. And I'm trying to like cut it open nicely so that I don't ruin it. <laughs> okay. Moment of truth, we should be able to just like lift it open now. Ready? Here we go. Okay, so on top is what I'm guessing is the lip gloss. It's wrapped in this super cute paper. It has the Jeffree Star logo and the Shane Dawson logo on it. And by the way, I'm obsessed with their new logo, especially like as a design major in school. I, I, I approve of this. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like. Ooh, yes, the gloss. So even just the packaging of this is super nice. The words like stand out compared to the rest of the packaging. This product is vegan and cruelty free. So that's super cool. I really like how they continued the theme of like the mini controversy palette, how it's like the, the TV static on the packaging. I don't know if you can see it, but they have like the little lines going through it. Okay, before I open this up, I'm gonna look and see what's in the rest of the box. Um, oh my gosh. We have this picture from the launch of Jeffrey and Shane, iconic. And then on the back is the conspiracy palette. Which, it's honestly so beautiful. I wish I wore makeup more, that way I could buy it. But I still 100% support. Like, this palette is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. And then I just have my receipt. So, time to open this up. On the side it says, for that fresh glazed donut look, juicy, delicious. Iconic on its own or over any lipstick. And on the top it has a little sticker that says Shane Lawson. I don't know if you can see it, but. That literally was such an iconic name. Like, I was like, yes, I need Shane Glosson in my life. All right, here we go. Oh my gosh. This is actually iconic. I came a little bit closer so you guys can see it, but look at this packaging. It is beautiful. I can 100% say this is the fanciest lip gloss I've ever seen in my entire life. And it's also like really thick too if that makes sense like I feel like you get a lot of product in here compared to other glosses it seems pretty thick which is like a little concerning because the reason why I don't wear lip gloss is because I hate when it feels sticky so hopefully this doesn't feel sticky I feel like Jeffrey knows what he's doing and he would not make a sticky lip gloss but we'll see when I actually put it on but so far this is amazing and I am so happy I got it and I'm so so proud of them both. Oh, and by the way, I waited so long to get this. I sat there on the website through all the crashes trying to order it, and finally, eventually, my order went through, and I was so, I literally almost cried because I was just so, 
like invested in it at this point like I think I spent about two hours on the website trying to order just this lip gloss so I'm super excited to actually have it last thing before I actually put this thing on I'm gonna give it a little smell see what it smells like <laughs> it smells like root beer which is absolutely on brand for Shane Oh my gosh, they would do that little detail. That's amazing. I unfortunately don't like the smell of root beer. I know I'm I'm crazy, but I don't, I don't like soda at all. So I guess the smell just kind of throws me off a little bit. But I, I'll, I'll deal with it for Shane. <laughs> all right, so now I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit. And then we will put this on my lips. All right, welcome to a very close up and personal view. I know this is super close and I'm pretty uncomfortable, but I wanted to show a close up of my face. That way we can actually see if this lip gloss does much because I sometimes feel like lip glosses don't really make that much of a difference. So hopefully with you being this close to me, you'll be able to see if it actually does something. So let's go ahead and put this on. All right, moment of truth. I'm impressed. I feel like it made a huge difference, honestly. Like, my lips definitely look shinier. And the root beer smell is not overpowering, so like, I can deal with it, which makes me super happy. When I first smelled it just off the applicator, I was like, yikes, what's gonna happen when I put this on my lips? Like, eh. But it's actually not too overpowering, so I'm really happy about that. And it also doesn't feel sticky at all, which was seriously what I was most worried about, because Nobody likes a sticky gloss, like let's be honest. That's just the worst feeling. You almost like don't even want to know a gloss is there. And that's kind of how this feels like, other than it being like a tiny bit thick. So like I can feel it on there, but it's not sticky at all. So 10 out of 10. So I'm just gonna go about my day as someone who doesn't usually wear makeup or lip gloss. And we're gonna see if this drives me crazy by the end of the day or if I end up liking it and we'll use it on a daily basis. So I will, I'll keep you guys updated. All right guys, it's been about an hour since I put on the gloss. I am about to eat lunch, so we'll see if it lasts. Right now, there's absolutely like no stickiness the thickness of it kind of worn away so i don't really feel it anymore i still think it gives a little bit of shine i don't know if you can tell in this shot because it's so far away but i can definitely still see the lip gloss when i'm looking in the mirror but it almost feels like it kind of like sunk into my lips i don't know if that's because my lips are really dry and they need more moisture or if that's just what happens with lip gloss so um i don't know i'm gonna eat this and we'll see if there's any left after Okay, you guys, I just got done eating and I honestly feel like there's pretty much no lip gloss left, which is a little bit disappointing. I was hoping it would last, but it is what it is. That's probably what all lip glosses do. I just don't know because I don't wear them. I know like people always do like wear tests for lipsticks to see if they last while eating and stuff. But honestly, since a lip gloss doesn't like matte down, I feel like it's slightly impossible to make it last like all day without reapplying. So yeah, that's that. I'm gonna have to reapply throughout today. So I'm gonna go upstairs, put some more on, and then head out of the house and go run some errands and we will we'll see how it does out in the elements. All right, I am in my car. I just reapplied the lip gloss. So let's see how long it lasts while I'm out running errands. All right, I am back home from running my errands. It's been a long day. It's been at least, I think like two and a half hours since I put that lip gloss on. And as you can probably tell, not much of it's left anymore. I don't think so anyways. So that kind of just goes to show that it doesn't really like last long. It's definitely not an all day thing. You gotta reapply. But when it's on there, it feels amazing. It looks amazing and it's definitely worth the price. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Again, huge shout out to Shane and Jeffrey. This lip gloss is awesome. This collab in general is awesome. And the series was truly amazing and really changed YouTube, I feel like. So I'm just, I'm just so proud of them. Like iconic. That's like the only word that I can think of that really, really describes this, the whole thing. It's just iconic. If you want to see more things like this, more reviews, more makeup from someone who doesn't really 
do makeup, <laughs> give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below and leave me a comment letting me know that you like this kind of content. That's about it for today's video. I will see you guys next time.